caught in the crossfire. Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Wednesday and today what I want to talk to you about is do you know your vision? Do you know the mission? Do you know the mandate that God has called you to in this particular season? You know, I talk about this all the time. Write the vision down. Make it plain. You need to be consulting with the King of Kings to see what is it that we're doing in this season, Father? What is it that you have planned for me? What is it that I, my role, what do I play in this kingdom agenda? Help me so that I don't miss a mark I don't miss a move but I know exactly the times and seasons that we are in and you all the month of April is the word that I've been given is boots on the ground we are moving into our vision we are moving into the mandates we are moving into the calling individually unit unified as the body of Christ each knowing our God giving role and we are on the move. We are not sitting idly waiting for things to happen, but this is the month of open doors where we are walking through it. We know the calling upon our life. We know the mission ahead, and now we're ready to activate boots on the ground. So I wanna to talk to you also about Ezekiel 38, because though the heathen rage and though they imagine a vain thing, none of it will come to their benefit but everything will glorify the kingdom of god and the victory is ours i gave a word last month where i said that the evil the wicked ones will begin to devour one another they will begin to turn on one another they would eat each other so to speak and i believe we're beginning to see that you know in ezekiel 38 god uses this um this saying he says that the evil wicked ones will be like a fish with a hook in their mouth and he will bring them to himself where there they will be destroyed and God's people will be given the victory. And I do believe we're in an Ezekiel 38 moment. And so guys, fear not what the heathen fear. Even though they're imagining a vain thing, they're thinking they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, it's all par for the course and it will all lead to God's victory. It reminds me of when we were talking about JL and Deborah, how when everyone arrives, when the people of Israel offered themselves willingly to fight on the behalf of God, even nature fought for, on the behalf of God. And Caesarea, he thought that because he had such a large army, because he was so powerful, that he could just come up against small little Israel. Who were they? They had little defense. But little did he know that God would lead him right into the hands of Barak and would give the victory through a woman, J.L., who would take a tent nail and nail the enemy, Caesarea, to the ground. And in this season, we're going to see where people thought they were so big and mighty, corporations who were so wickedly, who thought that they could do such evil in the sight of God and tear down God's people and do so many evil things in the world. They are going to see that they will not have the victory. And it is going to be before us all on a world stage for us all to know that the glory of God belongs to him and none other. So keep your eyes open and don't fear God's people. God has given us a sound mind. He hasn't given us one of fear. So anytime someone tries to perpetrate fear and tries to plant the seed of fear in you, you got to rebuke that thing when people when the world says there is a casting down god's people say there is a lifting up we say the complete opposite because we don't operate according to the world systems we operate according to the kingdom systems and so that's important to know and as i was reading ezekiel 38 where the lord led me this morning it just showed me how even though the wicked can plan and plot against people who they think are just you know small little have uh, not so much protection, not easily, I mean, easily able to come in and sabotage them and do wicked things. Mm -mm, not so, not when God is in it. God sits high and guess what? He looks low and he sees it all, you all. And everything will work to our favor. You just watch what's gonna happen in this season. The evil will devour the evil. Look at it. When I talked to y'all earlier, I, what, a couple months about the great reversal all these mandates dropping like flies y'all we can't see nothing yet god's plan will prevail keep the faith keep standing strong aren't you glad a lot of you aren't you glad that
that you have been standing strong and you, because of the power of God, have not fallen for all of the tricks and the traps of the enemy. My God, we're in a season where we're walking in boots on the ground, guys. Boots on the ground. Know your assignment and be willing to walk in it. Remember that works without action, faith without actions is dead. You can have all the faith and good will and intentions, but if you don't do anything with it, it's dead. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you soon. I hope this word blessed you. Go into April knowing what the purpose and calling is for your life in this season. All right, guys, talk to you soon. I love you. Bye.